Well, that's another lesson over with. Well done, boys. You're working so hard. Keep it up and I'll see you again tomorrow. So shake your dice three times to create your first number and three times to create your second number. Write them down on the square paper and work out the answers. If anybody's really enjoying this and thinking I can do even more, make two three digit numbers, like so. So you could do something like this. Write the questions on the square paper, remember, and the answers. If you want to challenge yourself to some extension work, let's work with some three digit numbers. So you can shake the dice three times to make the first three digit number and then shake it twice to make a two digit number. Find the total. I'd like you to create 10 sums on your square paper using the dice, work out the answers and make sure you colour in those 10 answers on your grid from 1 to 150. I need to find that answer on this grid. Remember the answer was 79, so I can colour that in. This is how I did it, using one of the methods from today. There are other methods that you might want to choose to use instead. It's up to you. I threw a 3 and a 2, which made 32. And then I threw a 4 and a 7, so I created 47. Now I need to find the total of those two numbers, so I'm going to add them together. First of all, always put the biggest number first. Now for a game, you're going to need your dice and this sheet from your pack. Shake the dice four times to help you create two two-digit numbers. How about this one? Give it a go. If you're finding these difficult going above 100 though, don't worry, sticking below 100 is fine. Have a go at this one if you like. Be careful, you need to go above 100. So this is the best way really of doing 86 add 3. This is what you could have done in your head. Add the 4 to get to 90. You've added 3 to get to 93 and altogether that means you added 7 to 86. Our next multiple of 10 would be 90 <coughs> and that would mean we've added 1, 2, 3, 4. But we need to add another 3 don't we because we should have added 7. 90 add 3 is easy, it's a known workout sum. 90 and 3 is 93. <coughs> Now that's the easy bit. You've now got to add 7, which is a little bit harder. Could we do some bridging to the next multiple of 10? Here we go then. 66 add 20, 10, 20, 86. So your first step should have been 66 add 20. Have a go at this one on your whiteboards. How would you do it? Partition 27 first, and what do you get? Whichever way you chose, this is what you were really doing. You did 42 add the 20 to give you 62, and then you need to do your 62 add your 6, which gave you the 68. Or you could use the old head and fingers method. 42, 52, 62, I've added the 20. Now I need to add the 6. So it's 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. So here's how to do it on your 100 square. You start at 42, add 20, 10, 20, and then add the 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <coughs> Okay, so instead we're going to do 42, add 26. But we're not going to add 26 in one go. Let's partition like we did yesterday. 26 is made up of 20 and 6. 
So we'll add the tens first, the 20, then we can add the six. Okay, get your thinking heads on. How are you gonna tackle this one? Well, first of all, I don't think we should start with 26. Remember, it's always better to start with the biggest number. So let's change it. Right, we're going to make it a little bit harder now. You won't just be adding a multiple of 10, you're going to be adding some units or ones as well. We'll add the tens first, because you've just been practicing that, then we'll add the units. Here you go. So I could do 72, 82, 92, 102, 112, 122. Try and give this a go. Remember your answer will end in a two because you're just jumping down the twos column. Of course you could use your head and your fingers again. So you start with 95 and you're adding 40, four tens. 95, 105, 115, 125, 135. Up to you which way you want to do it. Okay. You can see that my number square now goes from 101 all the way down to 200. We were here at 95. And we're going to add 10, 20, 30, 40. Let me show you that by changing the 100 square. Remember we were here at 95. You need to add on 10 four times because you're adding 40. So you've added 10 here, 20, 30, 40. Now, how about 95 plus 40? You've run out of 100 square again, so you've got to think how you could continue this column. The column ending in five here units. Is on the actual 100 square. 10, 20, 30. How can you tackle this one though? Because you're going to have to go over 100. You could think about extending your 100 square down the six units column. It will be 86, 96, 106, 116. You have a go at 22 plus 60. Use 100 square or use your head and fingers. Or put 34 in your head. You're counting on two tens, which is 20, 34, 44, 54. Now can you try 34 plus 20? Look at the 100 square. Go down two lines because 20 is two tens. Of course, you could put 27 in your head and you're going to be counting on five tens because you know that's 50. So you go 27, 37, 47, 57, 67, 77. Remember your units stay the same, it's just the tens that are changing. Here you can see 27 and we're going to add 50 by counting down the column. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. <coughs> okay, let's start by adding multiples of 10 to two digit numbers. I'd better just remind you about that times tables rock stars. Have you had your go today? Hope so. For your warm up again, you need top marks, helicopter rescue, and today you're going to be counting on and back, but across the tens this time, so it's harder. Do one to 20, and if you want to, one to 30. And to really challenge yourself, go higher with one to 50. Hi again, year two. This is week three, lesson three, maths. Here we go. 